Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to either start or grow your business without any money, all right? This is for you if you have thought, well, I need to make, have a lot of money to make money and I don't have money for equipment, I don't have money for a payment system. This video is gonna show you piece by piece. So if you have a pen and piece of paper, this is gonna help you out a lot. And I know it will because a lot of coaches out there don't get resourceful with what they have. And if they don't do that, then you know they'd think, well, I'll just never be able to start this. All right, now here we go. Number one, I know a lot of coaches ask, well, you know, if I get a website, it's gonna be really expensive. Well, that's not true. You can get a free website on wordpress.com and you can get a free website on wix.com. So you can go set up a free website, and then when you have a little bit more money, then you can upgrade on their service and, and change it from like .wordpress.com to .wix.com. It's exactly what I did at the beginning of my business, all right? And again, I, I did that to save money, and that helped me. And then once I started uh, getting clients, I knew, well, I can use some of this money, and now I can actually have this .com website. So that is the first thing. Next is, is you can use PayPal to process monthly transactions. So that is free for you to use. Of course, they're gonna take a small percent. I think it's like 2.7% of every transaction. But doing that is going to be better than getting cash and checks because you'll have a more reliable way of getting paid. I do not recommend using PayPal long-term. There are some loopholes in there that absolutely kill trainers. But at the beginning, you should use something like that to automate the payments. That is free to sign up, free for you to use, all right? Next one here, if you don't have equipment, you can do what I did, all right? I was very scrappy at the beginning of my business. I had my clients bring their own soccer balls to my sessions, right? I didn't have the money to go buy a bunch of gear at the beginning, all right? All I had was I had a little stack of cones. And after the first month of my training sessions, when I, when I started to get some money, started to then buy equipment. All right, I, I sold my sessions, I had clients come in, all right, use some of that money to go buy equipment. So that is something I did, right, after the first month. So again, you could be in, you can be in business for a month or two and have them bring all their stuff. Like, that works. That worked for me, it will work for you, all right? Next is, if you don't have a place to train, you're not being resourceful enough. Okay, and here's some ideas. You could go to a local park, all right? And this will depend on where you live. If you live in the North Pole, this is not gonna work, all right? But you go to a local park, you could talk to a any school in your area, all right? Talk to their athletic director. Uh, you could talk to any church. You could talk to any youth organization about using their space. And this all comes down to negotiation because one of the things that I did, this happened in 2014, 14, I linked up with one of the high school coaches that's in my area and they had this beautiful turf field, like probably the nicest one in my city. And I went to him and I said, hey, I would love to volunteer some of my time throughout the month to help your players in the off season and I'll do it for free. And he was like, wow, that's amazing. Why would you do that? I was like, well, I would love to do that if you're able to give me some access to the turf field every weekend for these amount of hours. He was like, oh dude, we can for sure do that. So I set up a deal with him. I had free access to the turf field, which no one could get access to that turf field at that time, but I came to him with something of value. I had that field for multiple years um, until they changed administration and then I couldn't use it anymore. That was huge for me. Right? I had a reliable turf field. Anytime it rained, you still got to train. All right? That was huge. I got that for free. I was resourceful. So you can be resourceful too. So you can find any, any location out there and probably get it for free if you think outside the box. All right. Next is if you think, well, I don't have money to spend on flyers and I don't know how to run Facebook ads and I just, I need to have money to market myself. That is so false, right? Right now, like for example, 
my my company make money coaching sports i'm not spending any money on paid ads we're getting clients every single week how are we doing that well shooting videos you can use youtube for free you can use facebook for free you can use instagram for free you can market yourself on the internet for free you can build organic traffic to your website that you could build for free all right you could send people to a payment page on paypal for free all right so this right here this phone can be one of your most powerful tools in your business so if you have a phone and it has a camera on it, you can start making videos, right? You can do that for free. You don't have to hire someone to go shoot your videos unless, unless you want, but you could, you could do all of that stuff for free at the beginning. And I know that, you know, a lot of coaches, what, what they struggle with, it is marketing. It is, well, how do I, how do I drum up business? How do I get my name out there? Well, the only way to start with that is by starting. And it's by doing one thing and sticking with that until it works. And if it's not working, then you switch, all right? So again, you can use your phone. You can really put yourself out there. And if you like hate doing videos, well, you could send DMs all day. You could go to join Facebook groups that are in your local area, send DMs. You could go to Instagram, find parents, send DMs. You can, you can call up people in your local area that already have access to the kids that you wanna train and, and ask how you can get in front of those kids. Like, there's nothing stopping you with your cell phone. This is a this this for you should be considered as a one hundred thousand dollar per year device that is just with you all the time, and you can either use it to drum up business or you can use it to be distracted. All right. Lastly, all right, and this is I hate talking about shirts uh, because. A lot of coaches focus on selling merch and selling shirts and stuff like that. But this is true, all right? And I see a lot of coaches waste money on this sort of stuff. And I have another video where I talk about selling t-shirts and how to make a lot of money doing that. You can find it on my channel. But here, with trying to spend money on shirts, you should not be doing that, all right? What you should do is link up with local sponsors and have them pay you. So the money that they give you is the money you can use on shirts. And I'm gonna give you an example. One of the top coaches that I work with right now, I've been working with him one-on-one -on -one, uh, since 2000, at this point, 2018. So we're in 2022 right now. This guy has never spent money on shirts. What he does is he gets top businesses in his area to support his business. And what he does is he has them pay every year a certain amount of money. He takes that money, all right? And then he uses that on his shirts. So those companies get to advertise their logo on his shirts. Then what he does, all right? So he has this money. He buys these Nike dry fits. These, these look so much better than like, I would say even just normal team jerseys that parents sign their kids up for. Like, these jerseys look so awesome. It has the logos on it, all right? Then what he does is he creates that as part of his registration process. So parents have to pay for a jersey and a jacket, all right? Again, the jersey and the jacket have already been paid for by the sponsors. So now he makes money on every single unit sold and every client that signs up has to buy those things. So you can see there's, there's zero risk for him. He's taking the money from a local sponsor, all right? He's using that on the shirts, all right? So he gets free shirts, free jackets, then he sells those, all right? So this is why, again, a lot of coaches focus on the wrong things and you don't need to do that. And if you have zero money, there's zero excuse. If you have a cell phone, if you have access to the internet, you're good. And let's say you're like, well, I don't have a computer. Well, go to the library, go use go use their internet, go use their computers. They have free computers that you could, you could sit there all day. and. Uh, and the last one, all right, because a lot of coaches ask me, well, you know, how can I send an email newsletter? Well, if you go to MailChimp.com, you can get up to 500 contacts that you import into there and start sending newsletters. That's something I did too. So if you're watching this video, if you take any sort of action on what I just said, you can start getting clients with zero money. You can start advertising with zero money. You can start uh, getting payments with zero money. All right, you could have a nice looking website for zero money. All right, you can get local, big local sponsors. All right, that, that comes to sales and communication, how you talk to them, right? 
And again, you can have a location for zero money. That That is 1,000% up to you. And uh, I know coaches that have executed on every single one of these things, and they're doing really well with their business. And obviously, they, they grow out of some of these things at a certain point. Like, um, you know, they might have an actual location that they have to pay for. They might have to rent out that space. They might have to upgrade their billing system. They might upgrade their website. Like those are things that can happen in the future, but you don't need to have that right at the beginning, right? So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions for me, reach out to me. If you're the type of person who watches this video and you're like, man, like I need to get off my butt and you start doing this and you want actual business coaching, send me a text message right below this video. You're gonna see my phone number there. All you gotta do is just text me. I answer to every single text message that anyone ever sends me, and I've been doing that for the last five years, all right? So at this point, I've talked to thousands of coaches, we've worked with a lot of those coaches already, and uh, shoot me a message if you wanna chat, I'm happy to, to chat with you.